Hey guys, Tyler Ansman here with Tyler Ansman Performance. So today we're going to talk about one of the first drills in our arm action progression, okay? So one of the things that we're trying to do here is work on pulling the arm through from that end range horizontal abduction and retraction. So what we're trying to do is get a feel for that end range because it's going to be different for everybody. As I've kind of written about and talked about in the past, more horizontal abduction on the whole isn't necessarily better. What we're trying to do is load the spring as optimally as possible, right? So if we go too deep for some people, they're going to be out of the optimal length tension relationship. We're not going to get that connective tissue rebound that we're looking for, and we're not going to be able to sync it up with that uh, kind of concentric muscle action. So what we're trying to do here is find that end range that works for you and get used to pulling through with the torso and then the pec, all right? Letting the arm kind of unfurl away from the body, all right? In line with the plane of upper torso rotation, all right? So the way we're gonna do this is a lot of times we'll pair this with uh, an isometric hold for a couple of reasons. One, it gives us a feel for that end range of motion. Two, it helps us build some strength there. All right, three, um, it gives us a, a feel for what we're trying to go into the drill with. All right, and then four, it, there are some brain plasticity things that go along with isometrics, which are beyond the scope of this video, but we'll talk about later. All right, so we basically have three progressions of this drill that we'll use, all right, going from the least amount of kind of hip and lower body movement possible to the most that's worthwhile for this drill. All right, so the first one we're gonna do generally post uh, yielding isometric, is the seated version. All right, so the least amount of hip movement possible. What you're gonna do is we're gonna start with that elbow at shoulder height, all right, bent at about 90 degrees. All right, we're gonna counter rotate and retract. We've got tension in that glove arm, all right? And then what we're gonna think about doing is we're starting with, right, torso rotation, and then we're gonna pull the pec through. You're gonna let the arm unfold away from you. All right, we're gonna try to hit the wall about arm side and eye height. So here's what it'll look like. Pause, get a feel for that end range. All right, and then we're gonna go to torso and pec, just like that. Pause, get a feel for that end range. All right, and then we're gonna go to torso and pec, just, just like, like that. that. All right, so the next progression from here would be to the tall kneeling position. All right, so same thing. We're gonna counter rotate. All right, feel that deep end range position. Keep that arm at about 90 degrees. We're gonna be in the pecs line of pull. We're gonna go torso rotation and then pull the arm through. Boom. We're gonna counter rotate. All right, feel that deep end range position. Keep that arm at about 90 degrees. We're gonna be in the pecs line of pull. We're gonna go torso rotation and then pull the arm through. Boom. All right, and then we'll go to standing. So we're graduating to a little bit more um, kind of hip movement there, so we're, you'll find that we're getting to a deeper and deeper position, right? But it's not all coming from uh, torso counter rotation and uh, horizontal abduction and retraction. All right, so here's the final one. In here, pause. Boom. So here's the final one. In here, pause. Boom. All right, so once we get a feel for that end range and what it feels like to pull the arm through in the plane of uh, shoulder rotation, Right, which can be easier in this drill because there isn't that kind of contralateral or ipsilateral tilt going on with this. We're generally just pretty much sidearm because there isn't a whole lot of lean here. Um, once we get that, we can work up to kind of more reflexive pec actions, which we'll need to kind of maximize velocity, but this is kind of this base level feel for pulling that arm through. Um, generally, overload balls work pretty well here and you want to be at a sub-maximal effort, right? So somewhere in the neighborhood of like 60 to 75%, depending on how that feels for you. I right, want to be hard enough that we're actually not changing the movement so, so much, but light enough that we can accumulate a fair amount of reps and we're not uh, just ripping it through where we're going back to our old movement patterns. All right, give these a try. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.